Hello everyone, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys and today we are going to learn how to make an auto updater for your application so it's going to check the internet if there is a new version available if so it's going to download it so um, yeah let's jump right into it I can't show you guys how it works but uh, you just have to take my word for it that it works and I'm going to jump right in the code um, also if my voice is a little off pitch uh, it's because I already made about three videos today and um, yeah I'm stocking up on videos so yeah um, this is the code um, so this code is only going to uh, check if there is a new version so uh, what you do is if the button update is clicked you can also do this in a multi-thread or in the form load section or whatever you want so we are going to declare the request as a system.net.http web request is equal to system.net.http web request dot create and this is the website where your file is stored so um, for me, this is going to be www.dropbox.com slash user slash whatever. And um, make sure that you include this, so update.txt. So this is the name of the text file. And your text file needs to be like this. So this is for a program I made called iCheat. It's not available because it's something I made for school. And uh, this is how your text file needs to look. So it has to be the version in this format so a number dot number dot number dot number four numbers if you are asking yourself um, how do I know which number is my current version you have to do that yourself so if you go to uh, your solution explorer then right click properties it brings you to this assembly information and then here you can set your uh, versions so it's going to check if um, the version in the text file if that's equal to this then there is no update if not there is an update and it's going to download it so remember to always change this when you uh, make new release of your program and also update your text file of course but um, back to the code then declare the response as a system.net.http web response which is equal to request.getResponse declare sr which stands for stream reader as system.io.streamreader oh damn is equal to new system.io.streamreader um, response.getResponseStream so um, all this is going to do is it's going to download the um, so this part is going to request this file is going to download it and it's going to start reading it then we say declare the newest version so the newest the newest version is a string where we are going to store our newest version of course is a string which is the stream reader dot read to end so it's going to read the text file and that's going to be our new version then the current version is um, also a string and it's application product version so that's what I showed you this is the product version um, of your application and then we just say if the newest version contains the current version then you have the current version else you don't have the current version so uh, yeah that's pretty basic uh, to download it I have made this download program as you can see it's really 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 basic so um, I have two buttons here a download button and a run button this is where the URL is stored which is textbox 1 and this is the path where your file is going to be saved which is textbox2 
And as you can see, for the download button, we have my.computer.network.download file. Download from this URL to this path on your computer. So, uh, depending on uh, if you, for example, want to put a file in your C drive, it might be protected and you might need uh, administer privileges. So you might need to run your uh, program as an administrator uh, for that. But anyway, and then to run it, we just say process dot start textbox to dot text but now <clears throat> let's say that we want to um, for example get this application press update there is a new update available and it's going to download and we want to change the directory from um, for example your program is in program files dot my um, not dot so Let's say your program is located in program files, uh, then a um, folder with your company, and then there is the exe file, so the executable. Uh, the problem is that if you download it to the path where your executable is, you can't execute it, so that would uh, interfere with your program. So I, what I recommend doing is uh, make a separate program for an updater and put it somehow in your program so that it can open uh, the updater program from the main program I know that sounds complicated but uh, yeah so that was the tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed if you like it please like the video below if you like programming uh, design gaming uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, I see you all next time bye you.